Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Praise and Play. It's lovely to see you here today. I hope you've got your hands and feet ready and your singing voices ready for our songs and our craft today. So we're going to start by singing our Praise and Play song. So let's get our voices ready and let's sing together. Next, we are going to light our candle as a reminder that God is with us, as a reminder that God is in our head and God is in our heart and God is everywhere. We're going to light our candle. Fourth time lucky. So we've got our candle here to remind us that God is with us. So we're going to have another song now and we are going to sing Jump Up. So get your arms and legs ready for some actions. Now, the next thing is we are going to hear a story and it's called David Does the Right Thing. Now, we're thinking about self-control today and this is a story about when David did the right thing rather than the easy thing. So let's hear our story. Today, we're thinking about self-control, choosing to do the right thing at the right time rather than the easy thing right now. So this is a story that starts when Saul was king over Israel. God had chosen David to take over from Saul as king and Saul was angry because he knew what was about to happen. So in this bit of the story, Saul is trying to hunt David down and kill him. On the way, Saul found a cave because he needed to take a quick break. But David and his soldiers were hiding in the cave. The soldiers told David to kill Saul, telling him that God had planned this moment. But David chose to show mercy. He crawled over to David and cut off a corner of his robe without him seeing. But he didn't attack Saul. When David came out of the cave, he shouted to Saul, My master and king! Saul looked back and David bowed face down on the ground. He told Saul that he'd shown him mercy. He said, I cut off the corner of your robe, but I didn't kill you. Now understand and know I am not planning any evil against you. I did nothing wrong to you, but you are hunting me to kill me. May the Lord support me and show that I am right. 
May he save me from you. David finished saying these words. Then Saul asked, Is that your voice, David, my son? And he cried loudly. He said, You are right, and I am wrong. You have been good to me. The Lord brought me to you, but you did not kill me. May the Lord reward you because you were good to me today. I know you will surely be king. You will rule the kingdom of Israel. So David made the promise to Saul. Then Saul went back home and David and his soldiers went to the protected place. And David always knew that he had done the right thing rather than the easy thing that he wanted to do. And Saul always knew that he owed David for saving him, which made things a bit easier for David as he prepared to become king. So I hope you enjoyed the story. Next, we are going to sing a song. We're going to sing one, two, three. Now, I hope you can remember the actions. So let's sing one, two, three. to pray now using our special actions. So we are going to pray for our church. So first of all, we are going to pray for everyone in our church and in everyone in churches across the world. And we are going to say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And then we're going to pray for our community. We're going to pray for our place, Greenwich, and we're going to stretch out our hands as if we were hovering them over the earth. And we are going to ask God to be with everyone in Greenwich and to help them and to protect them, particularly in this time of virus. And then we are going to pray for, oh, we are first going to say, Jesus, hear our prayer for our community. And then we are going to pray for everyone in our world. And we're going to hold out our hands like this, like the world. And we're going to pray for everyone who is in charge. We're going to pray for our world leaders. And we're going to pray for people in our world who don't have enough. And we're going to ask God to provide. And we're going to say, Jesus, hear our prayer. Next, we are going to pray for people who are sad or ill at the moment. We're going to just use one finger as though someone was crying to trace a tear on our cheeks. So we're going to pray for anyone that particularly is sad or ill at the moment. 
and ask God to heal them. And we're going to say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And then we are going to pray for our friends and family. And we're going to hold our shoulders like we're giving them a hug. And we're going to ask God to be with our friends and our family and to help them and to bless them. And we're going to say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And then finally, we are going to pray for ourselves. We're going to place a hand on our hearts as we pray for ourselves. And we'll just have a quiet moment so you can pray any prayers you'd like to pray for yourself. And we're going to say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And then we are going to join all our prayers together. Do you remember how? With a big Amen. And now we are going to sing another quieter song and we're going to sing Praise to You. So let's sing that together now. to have our craft activity next and we are thinking today about doing the right thing at the right time about self-control. Today in Praise and Play for our craft activity we are going to be making traffic lights so you will need the things you see in front of you um, you will need some red and some yellow and some green paper or if you don't have that, you can have some white paper to colour in. You will need something to draw around. So I've got a glass here um, to make the traffic lights. And I've got some string so that once we're finished, we can hang our traffic light up. And I've also got some black card, um, which we're going to use as we make our traffic lights. And I've got some Pritt stick and some scissors and a ruler. So the reason we're making traffic lights is we are thinking about self-control. And one of the things about self-control is it's knowing when is right to wait and when it's right to go. When should we do something or when should we not do something because it will have a better result later on. So to make our traffic lights, we are going to start by drawing round um, our glass. So got my red card first of all and I'm going to use this glass but you can use anything that's about the right shape. Right, there we go. I'm going to 
find a pen that works slightly better for the other ones. And I'm going to draw round my green card. So here we go. Oh, it works better on this paper. Right. We draw round our green card. Make a circle for our traffic lights. And then I'm going to draw round my amber coloured card. So amber is the, the light for when we're thinking about going, when we're preparing to go, but we're not quite ready to go yet, as you may know. Right, I'm going to draw around this. And then I am going to cut out these three circles from my card. Now you can cut them out yourself or you can ask mum or dad to do so, whichever is easiest. All right, so I've cut out my red one. I'm going to cut out my green one. And then in a second, I am going to cut out the amber one. So let's have a look. Let's find our amber light. go. Right, so I have got my red and my green and my amber. So which way do we think they should go on a traffic light? We think we put the amber at the top and then maybe the green and then the red? What do you think? No, that looks a bit silly, doesn't it? So should we put the red at the top? and then the amber in the middle and then the green. So let's arrange those on our paper and see how that's going to look and find Pritt stick to stick them down. So put some Pritt stick on there and make sure it's in the right place and stick it down and then do the same with the amber light and stick it down and then do the same with the red light. So there you go. Now is our traffic light for a start. But what we're going to do is we are going to cut our paper to the right size. So I'm just going to measure with a ruler roughly so it's even. So you've got about the same amount of black on each side of the traffic light. Now I am going to just draw a line that I can cut along and hopefully I'll still be able to see it on my black card, just about. There we go, okay. So I'm going to cut down my traffic light, being very careful with my scissors. And I'm also just going to do some little curved edges like this at the sides of the traffic light. 
which you can do or not do, depending on what you'd like to do. There we go. One, two, three, and then four. So, and then as a finishing touch, I'm going to cut a little piece of wool and I'm going to use some sellotape to stick it in place. I'm going to turn it over and going to pop it like that so that then we can hang it up. And I'm just going to find some sellotape and then I'm going to pop some sellotape just on there. So then I can hang it up and as a reminder to know when to stop and when to wait and when to go. So we're going to finish by saying the grace to one another and finish with our special Amen. So the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And we are going to blow out our candle, the candle that reminds us that God is always with us. So join us again next week on Facebook and on YouTube for Praise and Play on a Thursday morning. So have an amazing week. Bye bye.